What's Gucci everyone? It's AJ here again and today I want to make a video about tagging in Git. Now something you may not know or something that I just learned is that you can use tags in Git to specify a version number or a certain release version. So if you ever see anything or ever see any product you may see version 1.0 or 1.0.0 or 1.0.1 or 1.2 or something like that. And Git allows you to label certain your commits with these tags along with your message. So we know that when you commit something you give it the M switch and you give it give your commit message saying you know you did something or something happened or you corrected something. But also you can say Oh, I want to label this as a version. And right now we're going to sh show you how to do that. So right now, I've done I've already done a basic tag for you guys, which I'm going to show again. And you can see here it's in the second to last commit, the one that says D AJ Norton. I have tag 1.0.0. So that is a tag. And the cool thing about these tags is it allows us to easily revert back to versions if we want to, which I'll show later at the very end and it allows us to kind of see things so we can easily say okay this is when we did version 1.0.0 1.0 point yeah 1.0.0 so I can go back to that and say okay this is when we thought everything was stable or at least we were at a stable point and could release the product that was the commit we used to release everything so now we're gonna do that so right now I kind of let me do a git status here I have another commit and my head is detached from 1.0.0 and right now I'm on 6A23, so I'm at the highest commit. And what I'm going to do here is let's um, just make some changes. I'm going to echo hi there to a.txt or b.txt right there. And then if I do a git status, it's going to say you need to add that, So, or I modified that, so I'm going to add that to the index, and then I'm going to commit it to my local repository. Changed. B.txt. So after doing that, I'm done. And then I can com so now I've committed it, what I'm also going to do is I'm going to do git tag. And what you can do is you can look at, there's a git tag command. And git tag will list all your tags. And if you want to see everything you can do with tags, you can do git help tag. And then simply a nice the git manual will pop up. And you can look at you can read through the description of the command and you can look at all the options. So again, if you want to annotate the tag, if you want to give it a number, you put give it the A option, which is what we're going to do. And if you want to delete a if you want to delete a tag, you give it the D option and then list all the tags you want to delete. Those are probably the two you'll use. So what we're going to do, we're going to do git tag a 1.1.0 and then it's going to give us a, a tag message if we want to do that so released 1.0.0 and I'm going to close that and now I'm going to do a git lg and you can see here now that my head is at the top and I have another tag I have tag 1.1.0 and so head is where I currently am is the, the commit message I'm currently point my working tree is currently pointing towards you know my local workspace and so also the cool thing is is I could to go back to version 1.0.0 I could you know do git reset hard and go there or I could do a git if I just wanted to view it I could do a git checkout and I could do 1.0.0 and now let's do a git lg and look my head is now where the tag is so you can also go go back by commit mess by tags instead of you know commit IDs or you know head a certain number of times so that's pretty cool so that allows you to do everything with heads and remember do get tag if you want to list them all and then do get tag d 1.0.0 if you want to delete them and if I do a get lg 1.0.0 is gone guys I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you guys have a great fantabulous day